I'd heard of apprenticeships through the government schemes that were running mainly colleges, but I found out about the apprenticeships that Mersey Care were running through family that I had working in the trust at the time. I left college with some qualifications but not enough to get into uni so when I found out the apprenticeship in the healthcare setting it actually it's something that I've always been interested in so it was a good access into healthcare rather than doing foundation years for uni it was more accessible I could do it whilst working so it was it fit my lifestyle quite nicely and it was a good way to practice learning. So my first placements were in Harrington Ward, which was the female acute. And then I moved to Brunswick Ward, which is a mixed ward with both males and females for both four months at a time. And after that, I did a month with occupational therapy to see a different side of healthcare, uh, work with allied health professionals, get a more broad understanding of what kind of service Mersey Care delivers. And then I mo after that, I moved to elderly care, which was in Mossley Hill. I think one of the highlights was working in the different areas of the trust and seeing different approaches and how different ways of working were attained and how you had to adapt your care depending on what clientele you worked with. And having the opportunity to learn that in both a formal setting in the classroom and whilst on the wards was invaluable because you got to see different approaches and you could modify your own approach to work with that and increase your understanding of what the service users were going through. You have the theory behind you, but you can put it into practice at the same time. And if you come up with any issues or problems that could arise, you can address those in the classroom setting, but then take it back and put it into practice on the wards. So you've got the best of both worlds. So you're not thrown in at the deep end, as they say, um, to just work on the wards. You're having a good foundation to start with and an opportunity to learn and grow and reflect on your practice. I'm hoping once I finish my level three, I'll be able to progress to the next level in the apprenticeship, which is level four. And following that, I do eventually want to go to university and complete my nurse training. On the wards, we've just had new Bantus started on the ward and I recommended it to everyone that started on the ward because it supported me in my journey a lot. I wouldn't be where I am now in my career or in my life without having the apprenticeship to support me in that. I've got a new qualification, I have a great understanding of the wards and mental health in general and how to apply things differently to help people in a more per person-centered way. So when the new apprenticeships have changed as the government legislation has changed, I think it's only gotten better for people because the study days have changed every week so you're more supported and especially in local division you have the opportunity to go out and see other areas and learn a lot more. Some highlights of the work I've done in my role that I'm currently in in my activity work I get to interact with people through all different kinds of walks of life and the experience they bring to my job role is invaluable. I get to see people that have come from different cultures, different walks of life and everything that they've been through and they help to educate me further and to be able to take that forward and pay it back to other people is great. It's an opportunity to learn every chance you get and I think some of the highlights is working with people in group settings. People are more willing to talk and they'll tell you all the funny stories about their lives and how they interact with their families and you get to know a lot more about them in those less formal settings. One thing that has to stand out is that the charity work that we do on the ward. It's everybody on the ward gets engaged, all the service users and it's just wholesome fun. Um, we've shaved beards for charity, we've had people dye their hair weird colours. You see another side to people, it's great fun. <laughs>